Hello everyone, welcome to my channel India Buddy. I am an exam analyst and my work is to analyze different type of papers and find the scoring pattern in this. Today's topic which we have taken is J.E. Mains Chemistry. I have analyzed last 20 years paper and found a scoring pattern using which you can get 100 out of 100 marks in J.E. Mains Chemistry paper. That is all your 25 question correct. So before going ahead, if somebody is new to this channel, do subscribe this channel, like this video, share this video, you'll find crash courses for JE, NEET and CET on this channel. Let's go ahead and see how you can score 100 marks in JE Mains Chemistry. To achieve 100 marks in JE Mains Chemistry, you have to follow the three steps. What are the three steps? Step number one is analysis of previous year's paper. Analysis doesn't mean you are analyzing only one or two years paper. You need to analyze around 20 years paper. Don't worry, I have done that part for you. Next, once you have done the analysis, you will come to know what are the things that you have to study and what are the things you don't need to study. So that is your step two. You have to plan the goal achieving part. That is what to study and from where. Once you know what to study and from where, the thing which remains is how to study. That is your step three. Follow the path of success. How? We'll discuss about the steps very detailed in this video. Let's go ahead and find out. Step one was analysis of previous year chemi chemistry papers. So we'll see what we found in this. So if you see the physical chemistry one will have around six questions, whereas inorganic chemistry one will have five questions. Organic chemistry one will have one question. Physical chemistry two will have five questions. Inorganic chemistry two will have two questions and organic chemistry two will have six questions. And this is the approximate. The number can change just by one or two questions. So that's why I mentioned as an approximate but definitely you'll find the lot of question that is more than 90 percent of question from physical chemistry one inorganic chemistry one and that is physical chemistry two and organic chemistry two so let's go ahead to the step number two so plan the goal achieving path that is physical chemistry one we know that we are getting six question but what are the topics that covers in the physical chemistry ones so these are the topics which gets uh, covered in physical chemistry one you can take a screenshot of this or you can pause and write this topic you can see a red color asterisk on the two topics. So these are the most important topics. In physical chemistry also, a lot of question comes only from these two topics. So you have to note that these two topics are very important for you. Next in inorganic chemistry one, we get five questions. So in that you have the this top, you have a list of around five topics out of which the hydrogen and its compound are less important compared to all, all of the above four. Okay, so you have to focus more on the asterisk marked topics. Next is organic chemistry one in which you can get only one question. So you have only two topics in this and out of which GOC is more important. Physical chemistry two will have five questions and in five questions you have the around six topics out of which three of them are more important. So focus only on them majority part. In organic chemistry two you get two questions out of which the two important topic and two are moderate level so you can just focus more on the asterisk ones and in organic chemistry you get the six in this aldehydes and ketone and environment environment chemistry are less important compared to the other so you have to study more on the parts which i have done the asterisk here so this was the topics that what you need to study now the topic arise from where to study so remember your LCRT books is the best of the best. You have to study your 11th and 12th. Your JE paper is set on based on NCRTs. Yes, there are many other books which gives you the topic very easily or very easy to understand. But the thing is your question will get be created using your NCRTs. Next, follow the path of success. If you know, I have given you the analysis of the 20 years paper and you want to score a good mark so you have to follow the order in which you have to study so the order is i have given you this order that is the physical chemistry one first then the organic chemistry two inorganic chemistry one physical chemistry two then you have to study inorganic chemistry and organic chemistry at last why i am telling because there is very less time which is remaining so if you want to focus your topics and you want to divide your time so you have to think that your 50 percent of the time will be on physical chemistry one and organic chemistry two your 40 percent of time will be on inorganic chemistry one and physical chemistry two whereas remaining 10 percent would be on inorganic chemistry two and organic chemistry one so guys this was the analysis of chemistry paper and if you follow this you will definitely score 100 out of 100 marks 
थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो